little advances are usually heads of agencies, the directors and officers. And yet, when they, do the, they don't uh, liquidate their advances within the period mandated by law, it is the rank and file employees who will now suffer. So we make sure that they're accountable to that. So in their own official and personal uh, 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 de uh, department, they must make sure that they do discuss advances, they report them and liquidate them, otherwise they will have a rebellion in their hands because it would be, have been their fault. The other is uh, there are corporate governance conditions that they have to fulfill, 100%, like a seal of good uh, housekeeping. And then the other thing is they must always report back to us on every audit observation memo or every notice of disallowance that they have received and they must have ensured that at the end of that year, they must have, they show to us that they have worked it out with their auditor or they have come into a concrete time-bound arrangement with COA by which to do this. Again, if they have not fulfilled this as heads of agencies, directors, then they disqualify their own officers and rank and file people. So they try to make sure that they do this. Those are the, the, the steps that we are taking, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, in order to ensure that uh, when it comes to uh, the future, uh, such, such items, uh, such controversies as PIDAP will unlikely happen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, uh, Dean, Dean Cesar Villanueva. Um, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of our majority floor leader, Senator Alan Cayetano. Good, good, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, well, uh, Madam uh, Chair, Chair, Chair Grace Polito, you seem to have a policeman as far as GOCCs are concerned. At least, meron talagang papansin ngayon sa, sa audit findings and <laughs> hindi lang papansin to make sure that they are uh, dealt with and complied with, answered adequately. Sir, yes, uh, thank you, and uh, we, we, re we, we are really very, very happy uh, working with the GCG, and I think that's one of the more significant things that has happened in the last two years, the creation of GCG and the way that it has been working so far. I just wanted to add to uh, what Dean Villanueva said, kasi napag-usapan nga ho namin ito more than a year ago. Yun din hong... Uh, uh, Siguro kakulangan. I, I I don't know if the right if that's the right term, but um, the members of the board or management of uh, of, of GOCCs parang sa tingin namin di nila masyadong naintindihan kung anong papel nila and how they should act responsibly. Uh, lalo na ho kung uh, kung medyo na assign lang sila. Again, in the case of Na, uh, of Napcor and Zirek, no, most of the members of the board there are are either under secretaries or secretaries of the Department of Agriculture. So sila sila rin. And yet, parang hindi nila masyadong nagigap. I'm sorry if I have to use the term. Uh, kung how is this? For example, in PIDAF, uh, nagpasahan po uh, when we ask the agencies about. Why did you choose this uh, NGO? Why did you give it to the NGO? E yun huwa sinabi ni Senator so-and-so, sinabi ni Congressman so-and-so. Parang, uh, parang wala naman yatang naglakas loob sa kanila na sabihin, Sir, hindi ho po pwede. Kailangan hong dumaan tayo sa proseso. So it's either they did not have the... the, the uh, the prudence and, and, and the, the, the nerve to, to say that or hindi talaga nila masyadong naintindihan na yung trabaho nila yung mag -vet. So, I think uh, we discussed with uh, Dean Villanueva that like in the uh, private sector, meron mo yung mga seminars on good governance. Talagang it's really, uh, it's a training for members of the board of directors so that they will uh, know exactly what their responsibilities are how they're supposed to go with their jobs and so forth and so on. And I think that's also being implemented already by the GCG. So it would be better to institutionalize that, that whoever is appointed in the board, aside from the capabilities that he has, has to mandatorily undergo a seminar on good governance. Yeah. Would that be a good idea? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because especially uh, in government, you know, there are a lot of rules uh, that are not... Uh, uh, are not so obvious when you are not in government. 
so uh, and, and let's face it let's be let's be frank about it I, I, I would suppose a lot of those appointed in the past uh, and I don't know if the present are, are appointed because of political considerations yeah, rather than their technical financial their, their capabilities uh, Dean Villanueva, do you uh, do you submit the reports also to Senate? Your reports also to Senate and Congress? Uh, yes, Chair, we do. We we have submitted our first 200-day report, uh, both to the Office of the President, to the to the House, and to the Senate, uh, through the um, Speaker and the uh, President, uh, as well as our 2011 and 2012. So we submitted that. Okay, thank you, uh, Senator Aquino. Just a quick question for Dean Cesar. Uh, you mentioned though earlier that um, the GOCCs that were implicated or that have been found out in the pork barrel scam were already found out previously in your report no, as being somewhat questionable. No? Were there other GOCCs that you found aside from ZREC and NABCOR? And how many of your GOCCs under your care now uh, have you recommended to be abolished or do you think are actually in, in, in a questionable situation? Questionable situation means that if you look at them, they really serve no other purpose. They do not meet uh, the public purpose for which they were. Aside from uh, NABCOR and ZREC, we have uh, we have already uh, gotten the official abolition of the Human Settlements Development Corporation (HSDC), the Philippine Agricultural Development Com Commercial Corporation (PADCC), um, the San Carlos Fruit uh, Corporation. The Philippine Vegetable Fruit and Vegetable Corporation, um, the Southern Philippines <coughs> Development Authority, uh, quite a few number. And now in the works would be as we will submit shortly the uh, abolition, the formal abolition of NLDC as well as TRC. Uh, we, we focused into them very precisely because they were in the middle also of this uh, controversy. And uh, the others would be a consolidation by way of abolition of many of the uh, non-chartered uh, GOCCs, non-chartered SEC of uh, PNOC. PNOC has become a, a holding company, uh, more than an operating company, and has worked through uh, its many subsidiaries. We now want to just bring them up to PNOC so that it can now fulfill its main role as an energy, energy company. Uh, Dean Cesar, apart from the RC, NLDC, NAPCOR, and ZREC, are there still existing GOCCs that serve the purpose of being conduits or have served the purpose of being mainly conduits for PEDAF? Uh, aside from uh, NLDC and TRC, no more. Uh, we didn't find any. So aside from the four that were, uh, I guess, that are in question because of this scam, yeah. wala na pong ibang natitirang GOCC na conduit lang ng pork barrel. None that were uh, that, that uh, were the subject of uh, the COA audit. Uh, but in your ano ho, in your 120 something uh, GOCs that are under your care, have you found any other? Yes. Philippine Forest was uh, is already uh, also abolished. That okay. one we also became the source of. Bukid non Forest is right now in the uh, it is now submitted to the president for abolition. So Phil Forest, Bukid non Forest. Bukid Non Forest is uh, is uh, is not uh, in the PIDAP uh, okay. radar, but even that we have submitted for uh, for consideration for proper abolition. Just for the just on the PIDAP radar, Dean Cesar. Anything? Any other GOCC? Uh, the, none more. No more. No more. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, Senator King gonna ask me to preside in his absence. Uh, he's just went to the CR. I, I have a question for uh, Co-Chair uh, Ma'am Grace. Ano po yung period? Is it a uniform period to liquidate yung unliquidated cash advances across the board sa sa gobyerno? Ah, depende po yon. Kasi yung ating pong cash advances are general, are divided into three, three general classes. We have the, you know, the regular cash advances na identified po yon. We have the special purpose, and we have the time bound, no? Uh, or one type. For example, you get a cash advance because you're you're celebrating or you're organizing an event, uh, an anniversary perhaps, yung mga ganon. Iba-iba po yung mga timeline. But but we do have circulars on that and, and all agencies have copies. We publish the circulars in the papers and it's also in our website. So there are no secrets so far as these rules are concerned. Ano po yung periods of time relative to yung mga um, 
anywhere from uh, in the regular ano, anywhere from 30 to 90 days po depends on the item of expense no and then yung sa mga iba uh, say mga uh, 60 days on the average from the time the activity has been completed uh, or the purpose the specific purpose uh, has been uh, achieved for purposes of filing cases, kailangan may demand. Kasi sa civil law, may, kailangan may Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I, thought it prudent. I thought it prudent demand. to have a demand. Yes, yes, Thank you. Thank you, madam. And we've been making demands year in and year out. I'm sure. I'm sure. Salamat, Tom. Senator Cayetano. Morning, Mr. Chairman, to our guest, Chairman Pulido, and uh, my dean and law professor. Morning. Um, Chairman, I was listening uh, and watching the television. I heard the explanation of the SEC Chair, Sir Bosa, and I'd like to congratulate you in, in terms of pag may research ngayon or may investigation regarding uh, mga corporations, mga uh, yung data that the corporations are supposed to submit, sino incorporators, medyo madali na. No? Wouldn't this also be one of the solutions to monitoring um, uh, NGOs and any entities dealing with the government, parang may FOI tayo type na it will just be on the web. So meaning, for example, the city of Ganito or the province of Ganyan and then, uh, or Land Bank or Department of Agriculture has a deal with this NGO. You can simply go to the internet, uh, open it up, tignan mo anong pangalan ng NGO, sino yung officers, the press mo kusan yung lugar etc. Because there are so many networks now of also NGOs and investigative uh, journalists and even private citizens, di ba? So alimbawa na kalagay don ang address was tagig. It'll be easy for me to look at it. Del tagarun ako. If the address was uh, in Bukid don or in Mindanao, tagarun si Senator TG. He'll be able to look at it. No? So maybe uh, aside from the you know beefing up the COA, the SEC, the uh, regulatory bodies. It's really making each and every, empowering each and every Filipino to be a graft uh, buster and investigator. No? So maybe this is one of the regulations that we can impose on uh, corporations. I mean, on listed corporations, you can basically get all the information. Diba? You just go to the website of the Philippine Stock Exchange and you can basically get uh, all the information and any changes in, in stock ownership, leadership, uh, disclosures. Diba, are all already provided. And maybe we can do this so that, kasi yung balance naman po, diba, if yung regulators or yung policemen become too um, uh, too involved in the day-to-day -day activities of private business, that's the other extreme naman. Eh. Yung isang extreme ho, diba, yung parang pinabayaan natin and as uh, ikaw a chairperson told us, diba, na, not, this is not your word, but my, my words, garapalan na yung nangyayari. Diba, na parang... Uh, as if no one will will find out the conspiracies and the uh, you know the the schemes and scams that they put together. No, so that's just one proposal. And uh, I don't, as far as corporations, ma'am, is if, even if they're not listed corporations, will you be able to search for them already in the internet? Yes, Your Honor. In fact, um, we have the largest corporate database up in the Philippines, and right now it is even available for public viewing through the uh, SEC iView facility. But you'll have to get a pin mailer card from our um, headquarters, uh, the SEC main office, in order to use that. But for this year, we're already going to provide for online payment. So you don't have to come to the office and get that card. You can already view whatever documents you want. In fact, we're also coming up with all those statistics and putting them all together in a company information system. That would be maybe for next year if we get the budget for that. Because we, when this Yolanda thing happened in Leyte, there were some organizations who came to us wanting to know what are the businesses registered with us located in Tacloban and uh, all the areas hit. And we were able to give it right away because they would like to, instead of giving money, would like to help those businesses be revived. So we're very uh, proud of our database. In fact, you just, um, uh, for example, um, you'll have to go through us, of course, not yet available online. If, for example, you want to know uh, Juan de la Cruz, how many corporations or associations have uh, appears as an incorporator, director, or stockholder, or member, you can easily do it uh, through our 
uh, office and our systems. That's why we're able to service a lot of other agencies like uh, the uh, Ombudsman, the OJ, COA, PNP, uh, practically all the agencies write to us and ask us for all this um, um, reverse search uh, facility in order to be able to trace the uh, business dealings of uh, some uh, people yeah. under I, I won't criticize, ma'am, because as I said, I see that the SEC is going towards more transparency and putting order into that. And um, when it comes to the listed companies, there are much less listed companies compared to companies registered in SEC and of course listed companies have a certain level of sophistication considering their capital and everything but eventually as our uh, both our Benjamin and our, the Benigno and the Benjamin of our of the Senate Senator um, uh, Bama Kino was saying the but dapat integrated no for, for example and I don't know which government agency whether it's the COA or or you know it's the NEDA or whoever should suggest to the government what Senator Aquino is saying it Everything should be integrated. For example, no, the Bruhaha two weeks ago about the NBI and the NBI clearance and the lines. No, many people, even foreigners, when they were watching TV, I heard some say, "Why do you need NBI clearance in the first place? Shouldn't you, if you were an employer, shouldn't you just have to go on the net and put in the name Alang Kayetano, and you would see there if he has cases or, or or not? No, why require why require?" Uh, one de la Cruz to line up for a day or to pay this or to pay that. Then uh, some some uh, employers also require a city clearance, a police clearance, an NBI clearance, all kinds of clearances when in fact um, technology nowadays sort of allows this. Again, no, if mag integrate yung, uh, yung, uh, yung systems natin. No? But to leave that point, uh, Mr. Chair, and maybe discussion with the technical working group or during the budget hearings, no? This is not uh, precisely on topic, but intimately related with, with what we're talking about. If the good chairperson of the COAD would um, accommodate my request for updates. Um, if you remember, ma'am, one of the criticisms, not only of your office, but of this administration, and of course we are part of, people in front of you are also part of this administration, um, is that one-sided lang daw, kung sino lang daw yung mga kalaban, ng administrasyon, yun lang daw iniimbestigahan. And uh, the good chairperson has already explained a million times that they're following the dates, no? meaning she started the investigation. The PIDAF was uh, 07 to 09, right, ma'am? Yes, sir. 07 to 09. And therefore, you know, they, they have to follow the, 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 the timeline. In fact, I told people, when you did the investigation, actually, Senator Estrada, Senator Enrile, were allies of the administration. And I was the minority leader. I was not an ally of the administration. So when you actually did the investigation, baliktad, it was the allies of the president. It was only in 2013 that uh, there were realignments. No? But having said that, ma'am, uh, Ben Harlu himself no, in, in this hall told us that 2011-2012, he was still dealing with DA. No? So meaning there, there were still... Um, uh, Funds, no, floating around or float or going towards Miss Napoles. Uh, secondly, you already mentioned that uh, there are certain other agencies, like, like forestry, that you're looking at. Thirdly, like two weeks ago, um, and and now, no, over the cell phones and internet, lumalabas yung pressure ng bigas bought from Vietnam. And of course, many people do not know the technicalities. Is the published price? Uh, if the published price is cheaper than the bidded price. Tama ba yun and everything. That's why there's so much reliance on the COA report. So, may I know, ma'am, whether uh, we will see in the near future no, um, uh, special investigations or whatever you call them or regular uh, audits on on uh, on this, no, on uh, yung mga ni ni Benarloy or those issues floating around the the media nowadays. Uh, sir, uh, for 2010, 2011, 2012, we actually have audit reports already, and uh, but these are not consolidated in one special audit report like this because something like this would take years to to finish. But we did this uh, this audit on a per agency basis. So still, uh, if we look, if we if anyone would like to see our audit report on ZREC, on NABCOR, on NLTC, 
for 2011 or 2012, they can go to our website and they will see that we have practically the same findings involving practically the same personalities and they are well reported. What we also found, sir, I think this is 2011, 2012 already, uh, that there was less and less of funneling uh, the, the funds through uh, government corporations but to the uh, LGUs. Kaya po, uh, meron din po kaming mga findings na dyan. I think I mentioned them before. Tinalupihan Bataan, um, Pilar Bataan, some municipalities in Nueva Ecija. Uh, meron po kaming mga PIDA findings. Pahalos kapareho po nang nakalagay dito, pati yung modus operandi, parang ganito din po. And they are reported. So, uh, I think what I'm saying, sir, is that's uh, that's why we don't need to do a special report again because we have in fact audited them. Now as to the NFA, we have already commenced with uh, a fraud audit of the NFA because um, we reviewed the audit reports on the NFA for the last five or seven years and um, we, on the basis of that review, we saw some badges of, of uh, of fraud that perhaps we need to to uh, look into more closely. So I think about two weeks ago. What's the difference between a fraud audit and a special audit? Uh, sir, the fraud audit is a kind of a special audit, but it is more focused on uh, on on uh, 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 on fraud. I mean, the uh, the initial assessment already points to a scheme that may be fraudulent. So, ma'am, for example, if I say, um, where's the regular audit for uh, Department of Agriculture or DAR for 2010? Yun yung may resident auditor, and then it goes through the process. Yun yung regular audit. If someone requests na, oh, special audit yun naman, yung generic na special audit, meaning you're not looking for anything in particular, but you will redo uh, or you'll take a second look in uh, uh, with, with their paper trail and everything, no? Yung fraud audit, yung parang sa may nakita na kayo, and you're focusing on that um, that possible fraud or, or the discrepancies yeah. that, uh, the discrepancies is of the nature na parang fraud na. Kasi di ba yeah. minsan may yeah. discrepancies na would warrant a special audit, pero hindi mo pa naman sasabihin na fraud. Pero it's, yes, uh, it's uh, how do you put it, suspicious or fishy. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. yes. For example, we, we see some, there could be a possible uh, payroll padding or uh, ganon or ghost uh, delivery or uh, well, something like, very specific. Like the condition of cash transfer example, no? even in the regular audit, the COA has found that there are um, uh, there were families who were given uh, the funds twice, no? a couple of things. But just to prove the point that uh, 